After we presented our ideas and our prototype to the rest of the team, we decided to go with the idea made by Andres, because he did not only develop it way more than any of us in the rest of the team, he also developed a secondary prototype that will help us increase the service that is given in the library for pregnant women. He chose to develop to a side prototype, so when there is a person in the library, they'll be able to request a drone to for follow it around and complete any task the user may want. This user goes from helping carry a book or even asking him where the book could be located. And the drone will lead the user to the shelf where the book is. These drones come with many features. The main feature will be carry books around. If you want to carry books or use the old drone, and it will move books from place to place. And then the second feeder, which is really interesting, is the coffee feeder. This feeder will help you bring anything from the cafeteria and you ask it to draw. And you can help pregnant women buy healthy snacks or whatever. The web page has futuristic features like a retina scanner or fingerprint scanner to pay for things, or the voice request and mind read. In the future of the retina scanner and the mind reading will be added to the web page. Also, his idea of the web page of the library came more, came more much complete after we all had our futuristic whims and the prototype was completely transformed. Uh, so for the project, it looked so much more, more professional with the better, with the more sub pages of the website, with the services section, with the references and the other ones that my teammates did. I came up with the idea of creating a physical prototype rather than just the website itself since I wanted to show how a drone would look. The drone assistant car prototype, the AC, was represented and shown in a very realistic way since it included all the characteristics that it had. For example, it includes a hologram and this prototype showed the baby that a pregnant woman will have. It also had a sliding door and a retractable arm with tweezers. An aspect of a pregnant woman's life is that they are creating a human being, they are creating a new life. So they are directing all of their energy to this baby and they are constantly tired so they are looking out for sleep and for food so they can restore all of her energy. So we need to provide them a place that where they can find all of these basic needs that they are looking for. Several young mothers might want to get rid of their baby and abort the child because the father isn't supporting a family, or the mothers think that the new baby is going to be a great burden on their lives, and that kid will destroy their lives. That's why they need to be heard and supported by the people that surround them and love them. Pregnant women have to always be understood since they usually get different symptoms during pregnancy, or well, for example, they can get hip pain, nausea, solid food, and a lot of other symptoms and well they should get the pills if they need to decrease the symptoms if they're feeling bad. An important aspect that was seen after the investigation in three different sources was that women try to always be comfortable with what they do and in their daily life as a pregnant woman. Then try they try to do things to feel relief and be as comfortable as possible while being pregnant. Another of the aspects that should be mentioned is that pregnant women always need to be supported economically and physically since they need to get uh, most help from the actions they do so that, so that they can keep the baby safe and also for the family to be healthy. Pregnant women can carry heavy things some of them, so they need to get help from others. Uh, taking these examples from our team and I, uh, we, we get to, uh, to a very simple conclusion that these women pass through a lot that we don't know uh, and also as the baby could be affected because of their unnecessary efforts and also about, the, about their physically and mental health so they need also to be more relaxed in this environment so, such as a library and most of the time they receive tips and advice Pregnant women need to take antacids and vitamins. They also need to eat different types of water-rich foods during pregnancy in order to keep herself and her baby hydrated. Exercise should be also done by the mother so that she could keep in shape, 
stay healthy and help the baby develop correctly during this stage of her life. This activity made Empathy Map is used to help us analyze and unblock all the observations from the understanding phase of our design thinking process. This will help us identify what ideas are better to implement to the project for the user's comfort, this being the comfort of pregnant women. And this will help us also know if our prototype and ideas will be accepted by them and we will make them feel more comfortable and safe in this area. The first step of this empathy map is that during the understanding phase of the, the design thinking process, mm -hmm. information should be gathered in order to empathize with the users. There are four categories which focus on the user reaction to the product. Say, do, feel and think. Each of them with the purpose to help pregnant women in this case and offer them a more comfortable experience in the rap libraries. In SAY, we focus on what is feedback if you are hearing from the users being positive, negative, or even suggestions to pregnant women. Say that there are techniques and tips in order to prevent pain from the symptoms you have during pregnancy, like breathing techniques. Also, pregnant women say that it's important to share experience in videos or articles, whatever, so you can know more tips. In the think category, we focus on what the users might be thinking about the problematic. Since our topic is pregnant women in libraries, we think about the difficulties that this could be experiencing and ways to improve. In this case, library owners might think that implementing the problem of helping pregnant women could be expensive, and pregnant women may think that the different problems that have been created have helped and facilitated many other daily tasks or duties. In the do category, we focus on the actions that we are observing from, from the users. For example, for this in the library, uh, well, uh, owners create links with organizations, with the charities and companies uh, that are completely directed to make women even more comfortable with, during their pregnancy. And these, and these people, these, our users are very happy with this, are very comfortable. Uh, they rate this very much. Uh, they take it full action of the forums and articles that are considering them and they are very much grateful about this. So in our team make us feel very happy that, <laughs> that this is actually working and we can actually see that we can do something with the tools that we are given. In the field category, as the name suggests it, we observe and focus on the emotions that the user could be experiencing. For example, pregnant women could feel excited and relieved that they can get tips and hear other situations that other mothers had, and use it to help them with their own baby. And library owners or associations might feel overwhelmed by the support that they have to give to pregnant women. For this task, we had to return to the activity of the empathy map we made. There, we took those original ideas and transformed them into declarations made by pregnant women, so we could understand and, com and complement the requirements for the project and also to understand better what a pregnant woman looks for. In the first square of the chat, we ask ourselves, what are the basic needs of the user? And it was observed that the pregnant woman need, health, need to eat healthy, do exercise and drink a lot of water because they have to get nutrients for their baby and for her. Also, if a pregnant woman is feeling ill or with nausea, she will need to get the pills to decrease those symptoms. She might also need antacids and vitamins to keep health. In the second square, we ask ourselves what are some important things that the user needs. Well, and we find out pregnant women need help carrying things out because they can force their back or make sudden movements because of affecting the development of the baby. And as well, we find out that they need big spaces so they can walk and stretch and feel more comfortable. In the third square, we ask ourselves, what are some of the important things or needs for the project? And it could be seen that library owners should have the support from different associations in order to get materials and financial support to improve the space and to apply the technology that is wanted, so they could get economical support and get materials in order to always operate the library. Pregnant women need to be in a clean environment. This means that they can be near of any kind of smoke or heavy metal contamination because it may affect the birth, development or health of herself and the baby she's carrying during pregnancy. 
also they will need an expert to to solve their their doubts about what is going on with her uh, what is going on with the pregnancy process so they can know about what is happening to they and to their baby and finally in the last square we ask ourselves what are the user wins and it could be yeah, identified that the pregnant woman could want to be relaxing music, get messages, eat munchies, or just constantly be comfortable. They want it to be wherever they want it to be. So to get re relaxed and cozy, but the really important aspect to consider will be the needs of the pregnant woman. If the things they want could be achieved, it will be great. After all the analysis, we came to several conclusions, but the most important one was that thanks to this activity, we could now see that occasionally it is necessary to comply with some of the whims that the users might have to keep them satisfied and establish a good relation with these users. For example, that's why certain discounts are always added on goods and services, but we noticed that it is essential to comply with the needs that the users, like pregnant women or library workers, could have during their experience in the library. These five images show the two prototypes as an illustration which demonstrates how the final results would look like at the end of all the thinking process. For us to make a better final prototype, we decided to add some of our best ideas of our week. Mine included a live transmission from all the conferences that were given in the library and keeping them on the site for even a week later. Also, to complete that idea, a live comment section where you can find recommendations of books and from different groups that are gathered at the library. And lastly, a new segment for the audiobooks where pregnant women are able to find these audios that are going to help them stimulate their babies. As support texts throughout the app so they feel more welcome and secure. And then a recommendation day of the book, if the user wants to. Which has the purpose that the user does not feel overwhelmed with the situation and have a better and more comfortable experience throughout, the, throughout their pregnancy. Another idea that I had to add is a section which consists entirely of tips and things you could do if you're pregnant. My wings are focused on making the experience more comfortable. You can use an AI to chat with you and just ask him any question you have. You can do this by text or you can also project it using AR, augmented reality, and by the use of AR you can also have directions so you just open your camera and all work to go. My whims included very futuristic ideas, but I think that the three best ones among them were a drone assistant cart with sensors that drives itself, levitating with magnets, and could be asked so that it starts following and helping the user carrying the books inside itself. The second one is the fingerprint or retina scanners to pay the fees. And the last one is that the website would hear the user's voice or read the mind in order to make requests. The three best wins that I had thought about were making an online reading session where you can buy a book and if there is, join an online reading session with other person so you can all read together and talk about what they think about the book. Also, make a sense where pick, when picking up a book, you recognize your face and you can see the book that you have previously requested. And my last win is to make a robot that will go to your house personally and deliver the book that you ordered online. With the futuristic advances that we are seeing in, in our new era, uh, we see, we as young students, uh, our new opportunity to make whatever we want. That's what was requested in our class. So we want to play and we were requested to, to do for starters. Uh, I used to idea that we can implement a simple VR chat uh, where a pregnant woman can chat with someone or with more than two people about their book that they read in, in the library while they are sitting down and this can be implemented with the use of a helmet of, or, or nice glasses uh, that we are seeing now but, and, but implemented in a, in a library uh, in a level of, of a library 
uh, and this will help and not much be used as an as an entertainment rule as teenagers do like VR games this will actually help them in case they can stand up because they are tired or maybe the baby was born and they have the baby hand in hands even though uh, this could be hard for them but this could be also great uh, using the VR chat because they can do whatever they want but sitting in, in the library In order to come up with the whims that characterize this prototype, I had to imagine a futuristic library that worked with different drones and robots, which exist 50 years after today. I had to think of the possible functions and a logic explanation of the technology that drones would have in the different sections of the library, along with their original names. Also, for the web page or app, I decided to add features that would help the user and make their experience more comfortable such as the fingerprint and retina scanners, as well as the voice hearing and mind reading. For the web page, I only used PowerPoint and started to create the slides based on my rapid prototype, and for the drone I used like materials that I had in my house. Since my sister is an industrial designer, I could find most of them, but I also used the material that I was going to use for one activity that we didn't do. I ended up using 5 pieces of 30cm by 30cm cardboard illustration to make the box and mainly the shape or form of the drone. Moldable foam to represent the hologram showing the baby. It had to be really light so it wouldn't be break uh, the prototype. I also use different color sheets to make the screen, the sliding door, the sides of the drone and the sensor. A printer was used in order to print what the drone screen showed, uh, wire and black clay to make the drone tweezers, a green ribbon and black fabric to simulate the wire and the cloth that will be used to analyze the baby that will be shown on the hologram. The Callout Robot app is not only going to help us give a much better experience for all of our users because it is going to have all the functions of a normal app but it is also going to have a fingerprint and a, and a routine scan that is going to help us give a much personalized and unique service to all of our users that, will, that with this program will be able to find every kind of moment they have made inside our library like the books they have requested or bought or borrowed and everything they have made with us you will also hear your voice to navigate and a feature upgrade to the app is that it will, it will allow the user to navigate the app by using mind reading making it easier to make requests there will be different discounts for pregnant women and the users can discuss about the plot of the books in the different forums than there are added to that in the About Us page, pregnant women can find to see where the closest hospitals, restaurants, banks, and parks are available. But the main characteristic of the CRA is that aside from requesting a boot, uh, some drones, robots, or floating cards that have been added to the brainstorming could be requested to be used, but to request them after a mention of credit, the user just has to open the app and think on the robot or drone that is needed. All these drones will have different purposes and the main purpose is to make them the user feel comfortable at the library. If a drone is requested from the services page, it will follow or just help the user in several tasks. In this case, the drone assisted cart or the AC would follow the person anywhere and it would speak to the user. It doesn't use wheels because it will be levitating with magnets that are on the floor. By having those magnets, the height of the DAC could be increased or decreased by just changing the polarity of the magnets, which is reverse magnetism. This, this product will help pregnant women to reach objects that they are not able to get. Since the drone will always follow the instructions given by the, yeah, the user, the, the drone will also help the user uh, since it will have a screen at the top to the show the instructions that the person must do and given to if there is any request as well it, it will have a diagram that it could show uh, how the baby and the pregnant woman will be this happens to do the sensor that is has of of the cloud that it's included that DAC likewise the DAC will have a sensor at the front in order to detect movement and to be able to go for a certain book this one will detect magnetic stripes on books 
And finally, it will have a sliding door and a retractable arm with tweezers to get a certain book and the DAC will put it directly inside itself. This prototype accomplished and fulfilled every point of the requested needs and some of the whims in the needs statement. The logo is composed of a sun and a tree, this meaning that we will give a relaxation feeling to all of our users and also the hope that they will get the best service that they can possibly get. Also, we added the color yellow that stands for hope and positivity, optimism, enlightenment, embracing intellect and honor, which are some of the feelings and emotions we want to transmit to all of our users. And lastly, the Renham name for Renham Enterprises is, a, is the acronym for all of our first name initials, which we thought was the most adequate to name our idea. The tree with the green leaves refers to the books and the new life, representing physical and spiritual nourishment, transformation and liberation. Then we use the green, the color of life, nature, and energy which is associated with meanings of growth and harmony, freshness, safety, fertility, and environment. Some of these feelings we want to give to our users from our eco-friendly library. The app is called CRA, the acronym for Callout Robot App, which will be the website that will make the requests of the drones and robots that the library offers to the users. From that is next to the true presence a new day which means new opportunities representing life and energy. Our last color we chose was a marine core which is a symbol for immortality and in Greek belief which manifests the idea that the earth never dies and this is why the library is open for every kind of building. The same happens with the name DAC which means drone assistant card, drone levitates and helps the user carry books inside itself. This logo works as an Amigo type since it combines graphic elements with text, but it is possible to show these elements separately without any problem. The colors we used are based in earth tone palette which are known for their brownish tones. Those tones give a sense of comfort to the eye that is what we want to give to the users. It's often associated with resilience, dependability, security and safety. As it was mentioned, the logo is an Amigo type so a tree name can be used separated from the graphic element by just writing Rengem, CRA or DAC. This logo will be located in all of our drones that are working in the library. It will appear in the app or website and it will also represent our brand. The color used for the acronyms and name of the brand was black, since black is associated with power, mystery, strength, authority, elegance, formality and sophistication. It also represents seriousness, since black is a formal, elegant and prestigious color. We came up with these names because the CRA and DAC are just a function of these ideas with acronyms and also they have to be short in order to fit in the drones. For the elaboration of the logo we use Adobe Illustrator and for to be honest we have some difficulties at the time of making this logo uh, because uh, we, don't, we didn't know how to make it. So at the end, we, we do it in Canva Illustrator. Uh, and we use the, the perfect combination of a black color and the earth tone, as my other uh, partners have already explained. Uh, and also, as you can feel, like all this combination of colors can make you feel like serene and like complaints and like relaxing, you no? Know? like a sense of freedom, serenity, like commodity and that's very important for the project that we are trying to make and also for the people that need this and more, and more important of the pregnant woman that they indeed need to be serene, relaxed, calm and some of the advantage, uh, advantages of this name about uh, is that they are short, creative and easy to remember as well as the users wouldn't have much difficulties to refer them.